Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Tehranipur. I'm an associate professor at the EC department at University of Connecticut. My colleague, Professor Kushan Farah and I have put together a special issue for the IEEE Computer Society Computing Now in the area of hardware security and trust. Um, we have uh, selected six papers from a large number of papers that have been published in the area of hardware security and trust over the last several years. And the papers we selected cover some of the new and uh, challenging issues in this area. In particular, they address the issue of hardware trojan, physical and colorable functions, the PGA security, and design for security and trust. There are two major issues related to this area. And the first one is that the perception of risk is still is not there. And the second one is that we don't want to wait for a disaster in IC security until we start research in the research and development in this area. That is why over the last few years there have been a lot of research in this area, developing methodologies to detect and isolate hardware trojans at the IC. The area is fairly new. Um, we need solutions for the intellectual property or IP cores. We need solutions at the chip level, board level, and system level. For those of you who are working in this area or for those uh, graduate students who work in this area, uh, um, I have a few suggestions about uh, the major issues that have to be addressed for this area. First one is that we need to understand the vulnerabilities in design and fabrication processes. And the second is that systematic and practical solutions based on theoretical foundations are needed. We need to develop techniques there for pro prevention, detection, and countermeasures. In other words, we need to develop methodologies that can make adversaries' job very difficult to insert the Trojan and make our job to detect the Trojan much easier. We need to develop design for trust methodologies for uh, addressing hardware trojan issues um, so that industry and government agencies are able to use them. And if you look at uh, the tool sets that we have from EDA companies, there's no tool that addresses design for security. We need to develop uh, methodologies to ensure system level security, both at the hardware level and software level. I mentioned about intellectual property core. We need to verify trust for these cores. The IP cores are being designed by thousands of IP vendors located across the globe. We need to develop efficient methodologies to be able to verify the trustworthiness in intellectual property cores. We also need to develop realistic metrics to be able to evaluate the effectiveness of the proposed methodologies. The last two things that I wanted to add is, one, we need to develop industrial strength benchmarks. These benchmarks are going to help us to analyze the, uh, uh, and measure the effectiveness of the methodologies. They create a baseline for comparison. And the next one is developing hardware platforms. Platforms that are good representative of an ASIC. Currently, the community is using FPGA as a platform for hardware validations. However, we're all aware of the, the, the differences, especially when it comes to the sensitivity analysis between FPGA and ASIC. And the last thing is we need to train next generation of designers and engineers. By no means the papers that we have included in this special issue are going to address all of these issues. However, we're hoping that by reading this pa these, these papers, they provide you good insight to the challenges that we, ha we have to face. I hope you enjoy reading these papers, and thank you for listening to this video. Today.